So today I went to shopping and I bought a couple of books that I'm going to be reading over the next couple of months or the next couple of quarters, depending on how fast I'm going through it. So I thought it might be a good idea to share with you. So we got some books here that are talking about, you know, thinking, statistics, general economics, real estate and more. So I'm going to go through a couple of ideas on what kind of books I read. I'll also go through how to buy cheaper books that is generally 20 to 30% cheaper than when you buy from a bookstore. So one of my favorite bookstores from Hong Kong is in Hazen Place is kind of on the ninth floor. And there's a lot of people going there and it has a wide range of Chinese and also English books. Now, when it comes to Chinese books, uh, some of my favorites are actually Japanese translated books. So for example, here you can see the author is actually Japanese, Yoshi Yuku Wakui. And uh, this person will be talking about statistics. And when you're looking at Japanese books, they usually have a lot of diagrams and whatnot. Uh, so it's actually very easy to speed through. So I also have another book that is also from a Japanese author and it talks about deep and fast thinking. So it's translated into Chinese. Sometimes it might be available in English, but if I can't find it, I'll just buy the, the Chinese version. Now, the next book I'm probably going to be reading is How Real Estate Developer Works. So real estate is actually something I'm interested in. So far, my entire portfolio focuses on investing in stocks because that's what I'm good at. I analyze financial statements and whatnot. I'm going to be heading into real estate in the future. My plan is really to be buying real estate properties and whatnot uh, using the gains from my stock investment. Most people kind of do it the other way around. They make money from real estate and then they invest in stocks. But for myself, I'm investing in stocks and going backwards to buy real estate. And then a book I'm probably gonna read first is Atomic Habits. I think this is actually a bestseller, over a million copies sold. And it talks about habits and how you can change your life with that. The next one is called Bullshit Jobs. So I'm gonna be reading that as well. And another one is How Are We Gonna Explain This? So it talks about our future. I think it talks about climate change as well. So that's something I'm interested in. So I'll be reading more on it. Now I showed you only a couple of books I bought. And when I'm walking around a bookstore, I usually do a price comparison to see if I can find a cheaper deal online. And this usually apply to English books. And the website I use is called bookdepository.com. So bookdepository.com ships worldwide and they usually have free shipping and it gives you a discount as well. So what I would do is I would type in the name of the book that I'm interested in reading and usually I can get a discounted price. So for example, I bought Small Data. It's a book about data analytics and it's 23% off. So it's only 91 Hong Kong dollars instead of 118. And I think when I was in the bookstore, it was closer to 130 to 140 dollars. The next book I got is How to Get to Great Ideas. Another English book, 34% off, and there's no shipping to it. It's $105. And the next book is called Grit, $110, 20% off. And when you're looking at the bookstore, it might be charging me 160 Hong Kong dollars or even more. The next one is The Basil's Letter. This is actually recommended by one of the community members, Sam. He is reading it as well. And for The Basil's Letter, 27% off, which is fantastic. And then afterwards, I also purchased Leap, written by Howard Yu. And it is only $85, which it didn't show the exact discounted price. And finally, I bought The Rocket Man, Elon Musk in his own words, because I'm a big fan of Elon Musk. As you can see now, because I'm looking to buy a Tesla in the future and it's 21% off. So it's $85 or so. When you're looking at the screenshots, you'll see that I actually got it for even a cheaper price. And that is because if you sign up for the newsletter on bookdepository.com, then you'll get a promotion code from time to time. So you can get an additional 10% discount or whatnot if you sign up for the newsletter. And I kind of save up all the books that I want to buy and I just wait until there is a discount and I just purchase it all in one go. So as you can see, just from today alone, I have over 10 books that is kind of in the pipeline that I'm about to read. Reading is really a way for me to gather ideas. Now, when it comes to reading, it is not as efficient as learning through courses and whatnot. I have signed up for quite a few courses in my lifetime. I get the most results when going through courses instead of reading. Because when I'm reading, you get a lot of ideas, but you also need to test the ideas uh, one by one to see if they truly work. So I use reading as a method of inspiration and learning more about a subject. It doesn't necessarily lead to a fundamental change in life, but it does lead to a fundamental change in my mindset. In order for you to achieve a fundamental change in life, you will need to implement what you learn, put that into action and make it become a habit. So it needs to go from reading, getting the idea, testing it, have a change in mindset, implementing it, then you will see results in life. And that is actually very different from taking a course where you get instructed on what to do, what is the problem you're trying to solve, and how do you do it? So that's kind of more like a course. So if there's something I really want to change or achieve in my life, I would take a course on that subject 
instead of reading a book. Reading a book might get you around 20 to 30 percent there, but it doesn't exactly get you all the way there. So do you have any book recommendation for me? And if there's anything you think that is a good book, leave a comment below and I'll be interested to know what is the latest book that you read that has transformed your life. And when it comes to investing, my vision for myself is really to achieve 30% a year. And this is a combination of reading books, actually being an accountant on the job, and also testing different ideas out. So if this is the first time you're here and you haven't gone to my website to grab the free training, there is a four hour free training where I outline how I invest in the market, which is the result of the books I read, the system I've tested, and also my job as a CPA and so on. So this is perfect for you. If you are a full-time professional or a retiree with no financial background, you want to learn how to manage your own portfolio and target 30% a year. So you just got to go to the link 5minuteinvesting.com slash free case study. So in terms of successful case study, this week we have Bradley that made 100% from ADP in two months. Kenny made 28% from SYY in six weeks. And also Daniel made 48.5% from Alta in four months. So congratulations to you all. Those are fantastic return. And in this month for Investing Accelerator, I'm looking to help 20 professionals without a financial background to master investing. So if you're interested in joining Investing Accelerator, then go to the link below and watch the free case study to start. And then after that, you can schedule a call with me and then we'll go from there. And in terms of the 100 likes giveaway in this video, I can give away any of the books that I have mentioned in this video. So if we reach 100 likes, leave a comment below, tap the like button, and I'll select a winner from below. And I'll see you in the next video.